This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Howdy folks and welcome back to Atlas Adventures. We are leaving the island we were at last episode. <laughs> um, it is a copy of the one that was snow covered. I think the little one that was snow covered pretty much, but uh, um, not the big snow covered one, but the, the smaller one. Anyway, there's just so many bad things on there. I want to I want to look at the last island before I move on, and I think am I heading towards it? Let's come out here, take a peek. This thing down here on the bottom. I want to head a little bit to the right. I should be to intercept that. It looks like the desert island. And I don't know. I'm sure there's scorpions there, but I don't know. Snakes and tigers, which are prevalent on that island, <laughs> not as much fun. That's probably the desert island right over there. So I'm going to have to go ahead and readjust the sails. Get a little turny on here. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. Readjust my sails to catch the wind. Wind is to the left, which is going to be interesting and difficult. But hey, we'll, we'll try it anyway. Oh, okay. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Sail, sail, sail. Thank you. Uh, did I do what did I do? That one, negative 45. I don't know if that's... I'm going to catch some of it. I guess I can go even further. And go like negative 75. Rotate. Negative 75. That should give me plenty of air. It does. And I'm heading right for the desert island. So we'll check this one out when we get there. And see if... Even though I'm sure there'll be scorpions, there'll probably be snakes. But if I can find some area where I can actually build without being harassed constantly, uh, we might do that. Okay, we're getting closer. As you can see, yeah, it definitely is the desert island. Um, and there's, it looks like from the map that there's a bit of a waterway in there. I think I want to try to get in there into that blue in the middle of that water. Of that little bay. And uh, set up shop and see if we can uh, look around and see what we have to deal with and contend with. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Well, I can already see there's a crocodile over there. <laughs> We're actually uh, two crocodiles, but we're not going to go that direction right now. We're actually going to turn around and come back here to these sandbars over here, these little offshoot islands. I might have to turn my. I'm going to have to definitely turn my sails around. Be able to do this. Okay, stop. All right, way overshoot always. Way overturn always. Because those guys are the bane of my existence. They will eat your ship, and they're as fast as your ship, and it's just horrible. And they won't leave you alone. All right, rotate my sails. Um, going over that direction, so let's just go the other direction. Actually, let's uh, go ahead and close that one. We only need the one right now. Head on over to this sandy area here. There's another sandy area even beyond that that's not connected to the shore directly. That might be a preferred place to maybe build a build a structure. If we want to, if this is where we want to be, uh, if I can handle the heat, I need to stay here for a little while and see if I can handle the heat. If I can, I might, I might just build here. This might be the place. Okay, this place looks fairly decent. It's where I said I would kind of park the ship. Uh, that's where we were, where we saw the gators or the rocks. And I've come over here and stopped right in here in this calm little area right here. Don't see any wildlife except way down there on the beach. So, hopefully, no crocs will spawn here uh, in the near future. Let me see what kind of wildlife that actually is. Okay, it's lions and wolves. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I say, depressed, that there's no place. Hey, turtle, no place that I can really build without yeah, fighting things. I don't want to fight. I'm a pacifist. I can't zoom into my face quickly enough, but you know, not really a pacifist, but I don't want to fight. I want to build right now and then fight later. There we go. Yeah. Already one thing I've discovered is we get salt here. I was looking for flint to make more arrows, but hey, I'll take salt. How much does it weigh? Yeah, it's not that bad. But that means we can actually make, well, I still need flint, I think. We can start making the salt, preserving salts, or our preserving bags. Um, I want to, I need to go over shore. I need to get some resources. I also need to start building. Um, I don't know where I'm going to start building here. 
I want to build out here. I think I want to build on this island, even though there's salt here. There's salt other places, too. Uh, but I think I want to build right here on this sandy bit right here. Make this my base. That way, hopefully, those things won't come over here. <laughs> I'll have access to my boat. Pretty quick access to my boat. My ship. And access to the sea. It looks, looks like a good place. Assuming I can get the resources. Which means I'm going to have to do some fighting, I think. So, oh, it sees me. It sees me. Not the one I wanted, but that's okay. Oh, come on. I'm going to die here. No way. Oh, he's got me in my teeth again. What is this with the teeth thing? I don't get it. That's that's just stupid. That's stupid. Oh, my God. My ship. Is that the ship? Yep, that's the ship. I'm sure it's there, and I don't have any weapons on me. I mean, it's probably... Oh, yeah, it's close enough to attack the ship. That's great. That's awesome. Maybe it won't go into the deep water like the other ones do. The other animals I noticed won't go into the deep water. At least they won't target you in the deep water. Oh, he's down in the deep water. He's low. Oh, he's right on my, my rear. But he's not aggroed to me anymore, it seems. Weird. Okay. He just aggroed to my ship? Oh, no. He's coming after me. Just took him a while to do it, but he'll kill me. There's no way I can avoid it. Great. I'm going to have to go into the... Oh, no. I'm just going to have to try to lead him away, which I can't do because as soon as he bites me, uh, I have to lead him away and hope that I can respawn and get my stuff back. Okay, he's stopped there. I'm going to come over here and see if I can lead him over this direction. Well, they target from a long way away. So I've decided to reposition my ship over here. It was over there. And I had to run across to there and one in the deep water over there. Repositioning here, this this is fairly calm water right between that bar and this bar. And I think it'll be better. I'm actually right now just turning my, my rear where my ladders are towards my base. <laughs> where my base is going to be. I've got a giant wall up and I've started playing with those fence posts over there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, just to see what they can do if they're like S plus or not. I think that's good right there. That whoop, That's probably too far. Because now I'm in position to, to take off if I want to. Pretty easily sail. Set sail. Um, can I lower my... Anchor. There we go. Lower the anchor. Stabilize the ship. Make it a stable platform. Which is really cool. Uh, there's actually a wolf or something over there too. I'm having a lot of time getting resources. I keep getting harassed. <laughs> but uh, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and close the water barrels. I opened them up because there was rain. Try to fill them up. Didn't fill them up all the way, but it got filled up kind of all the way. Oh, fishy. I need a fishy right now. Oh, oh that didn't actually kill it. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? You shoot underwater, which is awesome. Because you can't do that in arc with a bow, which is cool. Get some fish oil from this, hopefully. No, no fish oil. But that works. Are you coming to attack me, buddy? <laughs> All right. So now I have the ship here. Um, and I can start moving resources over to here. Those wolves will probably target me if I get anywhere near that edge. So I don't want to do that. And since we got some fish meat and regular meat, let's cook it up and also test out the preserving capabilities if we can make those salts, now that we have some salt, some preserving salts. All right, we got a mortar and pestle over here. All right. Um, preserving salts are flint and salt. That's what I grabbed, some flint and some salt. Let's see, how many of those can I make? Um, sure, why not? Make all 95. Um, let's cook up this stuff while we're here. Hey, look at that thing just died. Maybe there would be some oil on that thing. Let me go kill it, or harvest it, I should say. Uh, it already did a fine job of killing itself. Let me see if it's got any fish oils. It does. Fish oil. Nice. More fish meat, too. Excellent. Excellent. Stay away, wolves. They're getting closer. Okay, so we have some preserving salts in there. We have some cooked fish and cooked uh, meat. We'll grab all of that. 
And uh, okay, that's interesting. I imagine these deteriorate over time, but it doesn't have any kind of a bar on them. Okay, so we have forty-eight fifty-seven on that. Nine, nice. Nine hours, 47. Nice. Good increase. That's awesome. So I'm going to put some stores of food here on the ship. For now, at least. Oh, bite you guys. Just go away. Collecting more resources, and I've got... Oh, are you that goat? Why are you in the water? That scares me. The sheep. I've got a uh, alpha... Oh, crap! What just bit me? Oh, no! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I've got an alpha ostrich over there, and I was going to show you that it's passive. You can walk right up to it. It's not like they're terror birds. They kind of look a little bit like them, but they're not. Um, and I was glad to have it there because that would mean <laughs> that um, it could probably kick the butt of anything that tried to attack it. So I'm guessing that that cat, I was thinking that cat might attack it. Uh, oh, I don't have my spyglass. The cat over there might attack it. It looks like it's going to. See if we're right. Will it kick its butt? Please kick its butt. Because you're happy. You're a nice thing. And I want you to stay. You look tough. Oh, it did. Oh, it so easily kicked its butt. That's why I was going to show you. Look at that thing, man. That's cool. Got my own little personal guard. I didn't even have to tame it. I can't tame it, probably. It's an alpha. But he's, he's totally passive. At least before I walked right up to him. Now he'll probably kill me one. Look at that. Level 157 alpha ostrich. Yeah. Nice. Now we're getting my stuff back. So I just have to run to him now. And <laughs> as long as he stays here, I'll be in great shape. Lots of grinding later. There's Bowden's Folly and the base is outlined. I decided that instead of using the fence foundation or the fence posts and using walls, the cost just made no It made total sense to use these gateways. I mean, look at this. Okay, If I wanted to go four walls high, I mean, these things are actually, what, five walls high? One, two, and just say four. Four walls high. Um, and there are two to three walls wide. Um, that's three walls. One, two, three, actually four right there. So they're really kind of three walls. So it's two and a half to three. And if you look at the cost of a wall, you get 20, 35, 30. So let's just look, I mean, just multiply one of them because they're going to be the same ratios on all of them, right? So, um, so for fibers, right? If I want to do fibers at two and a half by four, Four, okay. So, ten, right? Two and a half times four, ten, right? Two times four is eight. Half of four is two. And, yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, ten. So ten of those. So that'd be two hundred fibers to make the walls necessary. And if you go over here, one of these is forty fibers. It just the math just doesn't make any sense to build walls to get the same height now. Granted, I don't. I didn't build the four high currently. I will eventually, um, but right now I just thought I'll put up these walls. They're going to be a lot cheaper in the long run, and they're cheaper even for the two high. Honestly, they're cheaper. Two and a half by two, right? The four and five basically. Um, so even at five, uh, the math works, right? So five. That's a hundred versus forty. It just it just makes total sense, total 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 sense. Uh, this is where the actual my actual structure is going to be, my actual house, my base, whatever. And I've thrown down a tannery, and I did the tannery so that I could make some bolas. Uh, you make them in there, which makes no sense, but especially since I don't even are, is hide used in that? I think it might be, but no, they, you don't even use hide in it. But why are you building it a tannery? <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, I can't. This smithy's going to go away eventually. It was just a temporary build. Um, and I've got this, this cabinet over here I'm using to store. There's a cat out there. I'm using to store some temporary stuff. Um, and just junk. There is a cat out here. Let me go into K view. And see if it's still out here. Uh, it might have, might have moved on. Looks like it moved on. Uh, trying to not lose access to my vision. Yeah, it's over there. I want to see if Ebola works. Now, um, the great minds at uh, at Atlas <laughs> have decided that uh, you do have a cooldown putting a Ebola on your hotbar, and you can only have two. Why two? Why not one? Why not three? Why not four? Why not unlimited? I don't know. Why not stack them? I don't know. I cannot wait for mods to undo this stupidity. 
But some of the things they're doing are just dumb. They don't make any sense. Uh, but anyway, again, I guess they intended it to be a team-based game. We'd have, you know, four people with bolas and four people with weapons. Uh, I want to see if the cat will be... Well, there's the one that I was, I was looking at. I think he ran that way. But this one as well. I want to see if I can uh, bolo these things. That's a lion at 14. And over here is the cat that I was looking at. The female lion of four. Uh, I don't know if a bolo will work. Um, let's go find out. And if it doesn't work, well, then I've, I've learned a lesson. Right? Actually, let me open this. So I can run in really quickly if I have to. Uh, which one will come at me first? Come at me, cat. Uh, you? Or you? I don't even know where you went anymore. Can't see you. Looking for any movement out of the corner of my eye. Not seeing it. I'm sure you guys are seeing it right now. It's, oh, way down there on the beach. Way down there. Okay. So that one might be the one. Can I get your attention from here? Buddy, will you come to me? Come on. Come on, kitty cat. Mm. I have to go on shore. That's okay. It's okay. Get his attention. And I don't even know if a bolo will work on these guys. They might be too big for a bolo. Who knows? Come here. Come here, Mr. Kitty. Come on, there we go. What is? Wait a minute. What does that say? Too much health to entrap. Oh, I see. So the deal is, I'm gonna die. The deal is, you've got to uh, damage them and then bolo them. So can I bolo him now? Maybe. Still too much to entrap. <laughs> It was trying to tell me that. Oh, well. <laughs> We've learned a lesson. You have to hurt them. Get them really weak. And then you can snare them. And that apparently locks, like, essentially knocks them out, I guess, to tame them. We're going to learn how to tame this stuff. Okay, everything recovered. The coast is clear out there right at the moment, roughly. And I'm thinking I've got a bunch of fence posts here. Oh, I didn't repair my hatchet because I was going to get resources for this. Work my hatchet. I'm going to make a good old-fashioned arc taming pit. If we have to damage these guys and then bowl of them, I'm thinking let's um, let's do it with a taming pit, right? Um, okay, so from here, uh, type 90 degrees, please. Like that. And then go back to type. By the way, I, I noticed that about the fence posts. These are definitely like S plus fence posts in that they try to keep you level. One, two, three, four. Uh, no, I did not want to put that there. <laughs> There's cats like crazy over there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, uh, four. That's probably sufficient that direction. Let's go ahead and turn. But the type lets you pick which one you want to do, and that's how you turn them. Like an S+, plus, you would actually... Uh, click like the G key or something to turn them. Not doing that here with this guy. Uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and turn again. Am I ready to turn in? No, I want to go out to this one. So I want to keep going. Am I ready to turn now? Maybe... Yes. Ready to turn. All right. Um, straight. I don't know if I have enough of, to finish this. I think I do. I do. Okay. So these two dino gateways are the back of this thing. Um, I'm figuring I'll put some ramps here. This will be the entryway. I'll kind of lead them along the island over there. Maybe get their attention. Run this way. Come up the ramp. And there'll be a door through over here probably. So I need to go create the doors, the window frames. Just like, just like an arc. And uh, get this thing set up, and then we'll try to ensnare somebody. I need to fix this hatchet. All right, I built this little uh, ramp, scaffolding, whatever you want to call it, to get up here to do a little bit of observing. Okay, we have nobody in that direction. We have somebody over here. Who is this? It's a wolf level eight. I mean, I have to experiment, don't I? 
And see, by the way, I should throw one of the bullets since I can have two. Throw another one down there just in case. And, um, hmm. Just make sure I'm not surprised by another cat or a wolf. I mean, I'll take that level eight. I think there's more of them down there, though, than just the one level eight. It strikes me odd that there would be only level eight. Can I outrun? How fast do I run? I might want to take my armor off, because they actually... Well, that's a decent run, but... If I take my armor off, do I run faster? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Because that's a mechanic they have in the game. Where armor itself slows you down. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, little doggy to come play with us. I'm just want to do a quick look with in cave view here, pulled back. Because there's usually cats and wolves on top of that cliff, that hill there, that first hill. I don't want to be surprised on my run and be pounced to death. <laughs> you know, you know, little things like that. Okay. That's the dude we want to test with. I'm just so nervous, man. This game is still so scary. I haven't even tamed something that can... I've only tamed like a chicken. Tamed anything that can actually be mounted or fight. Alright, you dude. You need to come over here. Mm, I got a bow. I don't think I can hit you from here, though. I'll try. Ah, yes! Coming, it's coming. It's swimming, it's swimming. Come on. We need to get you trapped, buddy. There we go. Am I faster? I'm... Oh, he's slowly catching up to me. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good! This is not good! Yes! It worked! Close the door, close the door. Oh, it worked. It worked. Oh my god, I'm almost dead, but it worked. Okay, so I have to get his, his health down, right? I mean, that's the goal of this thing. It's kind of like shooting with trank arrows, but it's shooting with regular arrows. Got him. And that knocks him out. Yes, it's very much like a normal tame and arc. What do I put in his body? Uh, meat? Probably meat. Probably meat. I didn't take any meat. I didn't get any meat. I didn't get any meat. I didn't get any meat. Ah! How long does the bolo last? Is it like a torpor thing or is it something else? Ah! 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 Better close this door just in case he wakes up. Come on. How do I... How do I do anything with it? I remove the bola? Oh, that wakes him up. That wakes him up. How do I... Oh, man. Alright, I'm going to have to do a little bit of research and figure out how to do this, guys. But the trap works. So, Alright, I'm going to gamma up here because it is really dark. But I figured it out. Figured it out. Did a little research online. And the thing is, these bones in the zero slot down there in my hot bar. Once you've knocked out the wolf, you need to basically use the zero slot to kind of almost passive feed them while they're bolded. So, here we go. My bola's back. That's good that you don't actually destroy your bola. That's different with Ark as well. So, I'm going to do this again. Is that hurt enough to bola? Nope. Uh, come on. Come on, one more. Now. There we go. Throw it! There we go. He's out. Come on down here. Apparently, you, you can... In your zero slot, it said... Wait a minute. How do you do this? Escape in 130. How? How? I hit zero? What? I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, split all. Throw one of those out. We'll eat it. Escape in 112. Um... Hello? One at a time, maybe? Uh, hmm. 
Mm, escaping 56. How do I feed it? I got it in the zero slot. How do I feed it? Uh, escaping 45. Okay, not enough research. Apparently, I need to go watch if somebody actually do it. All I did was read. All I did was read. Uh, somebody say. That all you had to do was uh, was do that. So we're gonna remove the bola, and we're gonna run so I can salvage it and run. And I think I'll go watch somebody do it now because I can't figure out how to do it. <laughs> all right, be right back. All right, I didn't watch a video. I read the wiki. And it went into detail about there's a sweet spot at which point you can uh, tame a wolf. And it's only visible in a tiny spot approached from a certain direction. One more shot. One more shot. Come on, stand still, buddy. There we go. Oh, come on! You were standing still before. No, 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 no. I need your health down. I need your health down. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, I have more bolas. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we're going to do this. Repeat this process. And, of course, OBS crashed because why wouldn't it when I uh, was able to actually snare it? So coming in from the behind here, this is actually the direction you're supposed to come in. There it is. Feed bone to tame. And then you want to put more bones down there. I should put more bones down there. Hunger again in 21 seconds, freedom 117. They say it may take multiple attempts. You don't want to come from the front where the head is because he can still bite you. Because he's not unconscious, he's just ensnared. And. Bone fed. Hunger again in 20. Okay, we're going to get maybe two in if we're really. If we can get two in, we can tame it without having to knock it out. This is going to be tight. This is going to be tight. I have to put another, remember to put another bone in. Or else this is going to be very scary. I see there's only one down there in the zero slot at the moment. Come on. Okay, 25. Oh my god. I don't know that this will work. It's a second ahead, but as you saw, it takes it like a second to come down and let me feed it. I think I'm gonna die. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna back off. I don't wanna take the chance. They say that when it comes up you have to hit it again. Okay, knock it out. Now, like in, in arc, this would be bad. You'd be like, this is re really reducing your taming efficiency. In this game, apparently, it's required. Okay, eight. There he is. Got a bone. And I get the sweet spot. Come on, show me the sweet... Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He fell in a way that I can't see the sweet spot. Be detained. There it is. Level 11. He did level up. I don't think he was a level 11 or she. Is it he or she? I don't know. Name it. Um, I don't. Uh, uh, Wonder. Wonder the wolf. Because I don't know if it's a male or a female. And I still don't know what if it's a male or a female. Oh my god. Guys, I, that was that was intense. Alright, Wonder. Um, I need a saddle to ride you. And you are a male. Okay, Wonder. I'm going to make you a saddle. You stay right there. Okay. Uh, let me actually kind of gamma down just a little bit. It's getting bright now. Saddles. Where do you make the saddles? Um, let's go to skills. Saddle. It's a tier 2 animal, so it's a tier 2 saddle. Crafted at the tannery. So I need fibers, hide, and organic paste. I have some organic paste. Woo! Good thing that I got some. I have more than 10. Hmm, I thought I had more than 10. Uh, I killed some scorpions. Oh no, I may not have enough. Um, these bones are just stupid. <laughs> Bone, give me, go away. Where's the send all button there? Okay, there we go. 
And uh, I don't remember what I needed now. Oh, tier 2 saddle. I have the hide I need. Fibers and organic. Oh, okay, I need some more organic paste. Fibers. Are you fibers? Your thatch. Your fibers. I don't know if you're enough. Are you fibers? Your fibers. I'll take you. Okay, I'm going to go get some more organic paste. Probably have to kill, find a, kill a scorpion. And, um, and then we're going to be back. We're going to saddle this guy. I swear we're going to saddle this guy uh, before this episode's over. We have to. Scrolling in. Going in. There we are. All right, kill two scorpions. Scorpions! Oh, sorry. <laughs> kill two scorpions. I might have enough organic paste. I don't know. Uh, actually, I'm going to tell it to kill this bird and see what it does. That was slow. Are you able to kill this bird? By the way, I just pointed at the bird and, and uh, hit period key. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? Alright. Okay, finally got it. <laughs> Eat it. You do not attack like a wolf from Ark does. Mm, you're pretty lame. Hopefully you're better when you're, you're ridden. Okay. That said, 18 of those now. I don't need the keratin. I think that's enough for a saddle. Here, two saddle. Oh my gosh. We're making it. We're making it. Uh, you want some more meat? What's your weight like, by the way? Pretty good. Oh, 201. You won't be able to carry meat, probably. I'll throw some meat on there for you for a moment, though. All right, and I've got to level up. Go ahead and take care of that. Um... Oh boy, what do I want? Uh, my weight's getting up there. We do have boosts on our on our, our stats per level, so that's why you see them fairly high. Um, let's go with a little bit of health. Why not? Need some. Gamma down a bit more right now. Throw my excess, my tools. Well, I'll try to keep my sword. That's about the only thing I'll keep for fighting. Uh, bolas I don't need. Okay, trying to reduce my weight a bit. Should have a saddle now. There it is. I wonder what those marks on the top are. I don't know. Can I equip a tier 2 saddle? I sure can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I need you to do more damage, sir. That's all you've got is damage? Okay. Um, Stamina is probably going to be an issue. But let's actually pull most of this out. Do the old arc thing. We don't really need all of that. We're going to ride him around just a little bit. Maybe even try to attack something. And then we'll call it an episode. How's that? Let's see here. Okay. All right. What is your name again? I forgot what I named you. Wonder. Wonder the wolf. All right, Wonder. There's a ram. Okay. Same problem as Ark. Closing doors. Okay. There's a ram over there as well. See if I can kill you in, one, in a couple of bites. What level are you? Right, level 13. What level are you? I want to kill it quickly so the other one doesn't run, basically, is what I'm getting at. If I can kill it quickly, you're level 2. Two bites. The other one's too far away. There was no mate, no mate boost, so the other one didn't even sense that I attacked this one. I didn't even notice the damage. You guys probably did. I <laughs> wasn't paying attention. Wolf has an update. Okay. One level... More damage, nice. Okay. Can of damage do you do on this one? And do you jump like a wolf in arc? Let's see. You sure do. Oh, come on. 58, there we go. Nice. We got something in the top right. Digesting. The animal is digesting food. Awesome. All right, guys. This is so cool. It's so cool. I love wolves. Astrid has her wolf. Everything is good in the world. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.